everyone, Tommy from TechNexus, and thanks for joining me this week. Uh, apologies to people following for last week. Uh, I got snowed under with a uh, interstate trip that I had to go on for some training and just didn't uh, find the time uh, to, to get some videos out last week. But this week we're back on track and hopefully should get you some more new content this week. Now, as you can see on the screen, uh, I wanted to have a look at um, Recap just because it's come up in some conversations recently about users using third-party tools to extract uh, line or pipelines um, uh, to generate, you know, existing pipes. Now there are th there are two third-party tools, as Faro uh, and ClearEdge both have uh, sort of reverse modeling tools. But for people who aren't aware. Uh, AutoCAD and, and Plant3D for that matter have uh, some tools to help you find the center line of the pipe and then at least you can start reverse modeling from that. So you can see here I've got a bit of a scan here. Uh, there's some, some pipes laid down to the ground. There's some sort of sitting high up on a pipe rack. But ultimately, let's say if we wanted to do a tying point to this, then I, I wanted to reverse model this as an existing pipe. Uh, I don't need to, to download any software just to get the center line. I can use the normal uh, AutoCAD tools to do that. So I'm just going to close that off. Uh, and then inside Plant 3D, I'm going to insert and attach the uh, point cloud. So we can just do that from the xref command. And I can right click in here and say attach point cloud and then go to my desktop and then I can attach it here. So I'm, I'm attaching it to zero zero uh, and then there it is. Okay, now I can also uh, sort of do some some uh, sort of clipping around here. So I'm just going to do the rectangular command and just to filter out that part of the point cloud. And then you can see it's a little bit more manageable for me on this model. Uh, and that way I don't have to look at the rest of the model. So this is really, really easy. In Plant 3D or even AutoCAD for that matter, when you select a point cloud, the ribbon up the top here changes. You can see there's, there's point detail, so we can make the points bigger or smaller, uh, scan colors, object colors, uh, intensity, elevation, all that kind of stuff. I'll go back to scan colors. But one of the buttons here is center line. So what we need to do is just click on that and it's, it might be a bit hard to see on the video, but as I hover my mouse over that pipe, it turns purple and I then have the center line. So if I go to top and again, there's that center line. Okay, so then I can use, if I switch back to the home tab, select a pipe size, so six inch in carbon steel and go line to pipe, pick the center line and it places a piece of pipe along that center. Now, obviously that's not the right size. So you can see here that it's a little bit smaller than what it should be, but we can just use the properties command to come in and change this to a 10 inch line. Okay, so 250 is still a bit smaller. Let's go to 300. So looking at it from the top, switch to top view, we can see that that pipe pretty much takes up those spots there. So we can sort of, I guess for now, safely assume that that is a 300 mil line uh, on that point cloud. So then from that, if I wanted to do a new branch, then I can just click on the on the pipe and then just run the, the branch off that and we can call that a new tying point. So we can put flanges and whatever else on it and we can mark that pipe as existing and then, then we'll get an ISO out of that as well. So there you have it. If you don't, if you're not in the, in the market to, to get uh, the third party tools to do it for you. You can just use Plant 3D to find uh, the center line of a pipe. And we'll do, we'll see if we can get uh, the other side of this run here just to see. So there you can see there it's found that uh, center line off a whole bunch of less points than, than we had from before. So uh, again, you do have the tools there available to you. Um, have a look at that command. There's other ones there, edge and corner, but for the pipers that are, that are watching this, check out the center line command. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. But uh, as usual, please do subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell icon to get daily notification uh, of all of my videos. And I will see you later in the week for some more Autodesk stuff. See you later.